it amazes me how some people can be persuaded to believe and do things as shocking as some of the cults around the world. In our podcast, Cults Around the World, we will look at how these humans engage in tragic events for acceptance. I found this cult when I started doing my research to figure out what cult I would do my episode on. I watched this video titled The Five Worst Cults of All Time by Joe Scott, and that's where I first learned about the Order of the Solar Temple. From there, I read an article titled The Order of the Solar Temple by J.G. Melton, and then another article titled The Order of the Solar Temple is the Creepiest Cult Ever by B. Myrtle. It was with these resources that I created this episode. My name is Katrina Murphy, and I will be discussing the Order of the Solar Temple and explaining their creation, their beliefs, and the horrific actions they've taken. For my first main point, I'll be discussing their creation. The Order of the Solar Temple was created in Geneva in 1984 by Joseph de Mombro, who believed his children were demigods, and Luke Jurette, who believed he was the third reincarnation of Jesus Christ. They were comprised of mostly elitists who paid a steep price for admission. There were three levels of membership, and leveling up was achieved by either getting approval by some of the top members or buying your way up, which seemed to be more the, of the standard practice. They were an attempted revival of the 14th century Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, as well as the Knights Templar, which everyone is more familiar with. For my next main point, we'll be discussing their beliefs. They had a strong belief that the apocalypse was approaching and it was imminent. So they started buying farms to ride it out. They also had a lot of beliefs in practicing different rituals that outsiders weren't allowed to know about or witness at all. They believed also that the the apocalypse would be marked by the birth of a god child. DeMombro actually believed that one of his grandchildren was this god child and marked the beginning from there. They believed also that the revival of these different orders in the Knights Templar was needed because they needed to restore the harmony and control around the world because of this bad experience or time that the world was going through. The weirdest belief that they had, though, was that they would ex- they would experience their afterlife on the star that orbits Sirius when the world ends. For my next main point, we'll talk about the actions that they took. After members started to leave, they felt like drastic action needed to be taken so that they could retain the members that were left. They started by murdering one of their families. Emmanuel Debro was three month old was a three month old baby, and he was stabbed to death alongside his parents because Jurette declared that he was the Antichrist. And this is another part of their apocalyptic belief. And they believed that from there, they needed to go ahead and start this, this process of being transported to Sirius. So that's when they started the mass murder-suicide, which they're mostly known for. It claimed 74 lives, and they believed that it was necessary to cleanse themselves, cleanse themselves of their bodies by use of fire. Um, however, we don't really know if everyone died because of suicide. There was gunshot wounds found in some of their heads, so there is a possibility that some of them were murdered. But it was just a very, very tragic event, and it happened in multiple locations around the world. So. It was a pretty gruesome thing to happen all around the same period of time. In conclusion, I hope that you enjoyed learning about the Order of the Solar Temple's creation, their strange beliefs, and the horrific actions that they took while they were practicing. Unfortunately, we still don't know what's going on with them to this day. Supposedly, they're still out there. But again, they're very secretive, so we may never know what 
they're doing now. Hopefully they're not planning to do anything like this in the future. Though we may never know if their interstellar ritual was successful, I think it's safe to say they were mistaken about a lot. Thank you so much for listening.